All right, morning again, everyone. Welcome back to our next video by David McLean. And today I just want to start out by giving God thanks for the, the blessings that he have given me on my journey. Sometime in life, you want some big blessings and you have some big plans but just like this tree in front of you sometime God cut you down so that you can spring back again and develop better branches develop, develop a stronger found, foundation right so I started this farm at the end of of June so I'm gonna give you an update sometime in life you know you ask you pray and you ask God for some stuff and you wonder why God don't give it to you and you wonder why is God feeling you because if some people are honest they think about it a lot and they, they say it a lot God feel me because God never give me what I asked him for and God placed so much things in your life and you don't appreciate the stuff them and the journey that he is he, sending you on. So when I started the farm, I started with two chocha that I got from a friend of mine, Donnelly, in Mandeville. So you can see the update. That is one. And I started and I planted the next one which I put the bumble at the root and that is two. <coughs> when I started also, I, I also made a row. I made a row of, of pop chow. But as you can see, with, every, with the every rain, most of the pop chow didn't grow because as in life, sometimes you want some stuff, but you don't have the right foundation. You don't have the right soil to put them in. So yes, I planted pop chow. Yes, I planted kalalo, which is no more. Yes, I planted cabbage, which... That is the only evidence. Yes, I planted corns, no more. Yes, I planted cucumber, yet some of the cucumber is standing after the heavy rain, grace and the other rain. Right there. One. Two. Three. I guess the best one out of the lot. The best one out of the lot is this one. It can start to blossom also already. <coughs> so, this is the result after two months. But, one thing I have to give God thanks for, I remember when I started, there was a small coconut tree. If you go back to the first video, you can see small coconut just bursting out. I remember when I started out also, my father had planted some dashings, and I can tell you, I did try to move the dashings them out so I could have get space for my color low and my pattern. Dashings standing strong. So sometimes God puts some blessing in your life and you don't appreciate it. You're trying to dig it out. Just like how I was trying to dig out the dashing to make space for my other blessings that I wanted. Sometimes you know you want some stuff, but God says you're not ready for it yet. So appreciate the struggles that you are going through. Appreciate the setback that come in your life because when I look at things, things could have worse. Things could have been worse. And God is God. Look at the devastation. Banana tree down. Coconut tree down. A lot of trees down. But banana tree up the top right there with, with two banana bunches on it. Down, rotting down right now. See? Look at the land space. So 
So you can see that the land space is, is massive. So sometimes you try with one stuff. You try ask God for, 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 for something. But God not ready for putting in your life. Or God has show you say, that one of the things them where I want you to have. I want to send you on a, on, a, on a different path. Sometimes we have some struggles in our life and we don't appreciate the lessons that the struggles are there to teach us. We don't accept the strength that we're supposed to generate from going through that struggles. Yes, oh, you, you, you ask God that you want to be stronger. You want to be a stronger Christian. Yet still you never face temptation. Is it temptation them that you that 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 comes your way, and you hardly know about those temptation? You developing ways to get through get through it is going to make you know how to deal with them in the future. That is how you're gonna get stronger. And even with me, I didn't want it to work for anybody. But what? When hard time come on, struggles time come. Yes, you have to buckle up. Yeah, you might not be good at it. You might be rusty at the job that you are doing, but you have the knowledge. And with the knowledge comes experience. And with you appreciating whatever God put in your life, you'll get better and better at it. And that's just how life is. I started this farm when I used $1,000 and buy some seeds. And from that $1,000, I was expecting to earn about $50,000. Because I planted over 100 pop chow, over 100 kalalu, over 25 cabbage. I planted almost 40, 40 or, or 30 corns. And I planted, planted about 20 or so or more of the, of the, the cucumber and the cucumber. And the rain come, the storm come. It's just like life. You have to invest in a lot of things. You have to devote yourself to a lot of things. And what will happen? It's just not going to work out because that is not your blessing. God don't want that in your life. So sometimes we have to accept. Accept the fact that not everything that you see other person with is your blessing. You have to find what is your blessing and work with it. Like now. Look at this side. I know now so I can't plan cabbage, I can't pan pop chow because the, the water every so I can't put there. So now I have to think about planting some things that go down in the ground like some beetroot and some carrot. Things like that will grow underground. But me know when the other rain come it, it won't it won't it won't wash them away. Or the bamboo leaf won't wash them away. Life is about adjusting. Life is about failure. And that is one of one of the things then that I never accept. I hated to feel, I hated to lose. But I realize it's the experience that comes through failure that makes me stronger. It's the experience that's come through failing at my business for two times that makes me stronger. So whenever I start up again, my third time I will flourish in the name of Jesus because I know what to do and what not to do again. So sometime in life, yeah, you go to school, you never want to fail an exam, but it's that one exam that you feel out of the eight them that you did that make you appreciate that exam that you feel even more. I remember I went to Obel in high school, I did eight CXE subject. I never liked English because I never liked my English teacher. Right? Don't want to call her name. Although, big up yourself, Miss Barton. And I never go to no English class. And the only subject I feel in English in CXC was English. And I remember my mother when I was in I went to six farm, lower six. They said to me, the only way I can go to upper six is to ensure that I pass English. And I remember I never got to an English class. My mother bought the observer book and my mother taught me all the ins and the out by the past paper. Observer pass paper and we went through it, the gleaner pass paper and went through it. And I went without doing a class with my mother tutoring me. And I got a two. And I applied for both UTEC and University of the West Indies. And I got through for both of them. It's just money I never have to, to go to UE, but I end up go to go to UTEC and I did well and I did well there. So life is about accepting your failure. 
But don't sit down, get up, brush off, and try again. But always remember, God have a plan for you. You might have a 110 plan, but God have the master plan. Sometimes you plan some things and you put everything in perspective and say, yes, this is going to work, and you end up saying, Oh, it not work out. Oh, you plan it out. Because that is not what God wants for you. So, person, people out there, I'm encouraging you to follow God's plan. Don't follow your plan. Your plan now will work out. It might work out at the start and it look that it is going the right way. Just like how I started the farm and it looked like it was going the right way after the first two weeks. And then after two months, this is the result. Nothing to show, but what is really important. So what is really important? Dashin, coconut, chocho. See what? See? Cucumber. So I know now, for this land, me can plant more chocho, me can plant more cucumber, and me can plant carrot, and me can plant, and me can plant beetroot. You have to find your purpose in life, people, and stop following other, what you see other person do, because what other person do is not for you. And remember, be grounded in God, build your foundation in God, because without God you can't do nothing at all. And don't, no matter, you see some things coming in your life, some blessings coming in your life, you never know you don't go down that path, but embrace it. Embrace it. You never know the plan that God has for you with that work that you never want to do. Yes, you, are, you, you, you have been a leader, but sometimes you have to take a back seat and see what you have been doing wrong as a leader so that you can be a better leader. Yeah, you are a singer. It now work out for you as a lead singer. Take a back seat. Be a backup singer. Make your money same way. So today I want to finish off by saying, in life, put God first. Find your sense of purpose. And build, build, and I stress this, build a firm foundation that after two months, after five years, you can stand strong same way. Can stand strong, same way. And the best foundation is to build, is to build one on Christ Jesus, who saved my soul. I am not perfect. You are not perfect. No one is perfect. Jesus Himself never perfect. But as He said, He came for sinners. He came for sinners to show them the door of heaven. So people. Just like how I am trying, yet still struggling, repent of your sins and put God first. Because with God you can smile at the storm. And please, brother and sister, know the time is rough now. If you can help an next brother, if you can help an next sister, yes, you might have a thousand dollars and you say it's too small. But giving somebody fifty dollars or a hundred dollars can save a life. Can save a life. I remember there, there is enough time I did not bust here to go to work. I'm going to ask. I'm going to get it. I'm going to give God thanks. I'm going to never give nobody for, nothing for put on. Sometimes, yes, you are independent. You want to go it on your own. But ask for help. Bible says, seek and you shall find. Ask and it shall be given unto you. Per people, it is rough now. No, is no more than ever. You need God. You need a support system. Don't have to be a family support system, but any support system alone. Right? So let us bond together as one, and let us fight out the remaining era of this COVID. This COVID because this COVID thing really getting bad. So have a great day today, and just remember that God is good all the time. All right, people. Give God thanks.